Okay, I thought I'd start this 1962 Chevy Impala two-door sports coupe. It's been probably a couple of months, I guess, since I've started this car. Let's see how quick it starts up. Making sure I had a good battery connection. I always disconnect the battery. Get some fuel up to the carburetor. It's been a while, I can't complain. Started pretty good considering how long it's been sitting here in this garage. I've just been so busy working on these two trucks, 78 GMC and the 78 Chevy truck, Papaw, Shannon and Papaw, but I haven't messed with this car any, really. I'll let it warm up just a minute, but I don't want to get it exhaust fumes in here. I got a smoke detector carbon monoxide detector I should say and I don't want it to go off I'll let it run for just a minute what a beautiful day I hate the I hate winter time is coming on here in a few more months I just really hate it it's fall of the year and as you can see the leaves are tired which normally means that you can see leaves in the driveway they're already starting to fall Let's see if we can get it out of here without any troubles. I'm gonna let it run for just a minute. Here in the driveway. These days like this that are so nice and pleasant are kinda gonna be few and far between soon. I've got a lot of videos on this car. It's a good car. It's a one family owned, like I said. Uh, my friend, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this phone's been acting up. My friend is gonna detail the engine and spot in some of these spots. There's no rust in the car. Just kind of playing around doing patina stuff back when I was ignorant, <laughs> I'll say. Anyway, there's no rust in the car. Uh, anyway, he said when it got cooler weather that he would detail the engine in this car. It's a 283. Let me show you. Hang on a minute. Okay, it's 283 with a original to the car and it's got the original power glide in it. Back about June or maybe first of July Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop I'm always mentioning him because I I him excuse me I use him or GM Tim 38 that's Brian on YouTube GM Tim 38 check him out he's my buddy and Tim Dixon is too they put these new hoses and Tim put new bushings in the the back back here it, just have to watch the video go go back around June I guess I'm always bragging on friends that help me get a job done and Tim and Brian are real good people and Corey, they're real good about helping me. Uh, I'm going to try not to repeat myself in this video because y'all have heard the same story a bunch. I'm just letting this thing run a few minutes. I don't guess I showed you the inside really did I? I always have big intentions of doing stuff and then seems like another truck or two come in and then I, I wind up spending seems like I guess all summer fooling with them every day so but I love this car I love this car I need to get this stuff out of here. I forgot. I think I said that in the last video. I forgot to get this stuff out. Anyway, I done the trunk myself. The 
splatter pattern I painted all that and I've done everything in the trunk area to me it looks much better than it did before my grandparents owned this car my uncle did first and my grandparents and then I wound up with it but it's never been wrecked it's a good running car and I'm ashamed I'm so terribly ashamed that I don't spend more time with it but I'm gonna let it run here for just a few minutes and uh, let the juices flow I guess if you want to call it that I drove this car all the way from uh, at northern part of Alabama to here back in the 80s like 84 85 I've had the car that whole time since then and uh, it done just fine this car has a bunch of miles on it from my uncle driving it as an insurance salesman and then my grandparents had it uh, this was their only car like I said I'm not going to repeat myself I know people get tired of hearing the story and if you're interested in it in the story I have several videos just type in my 62 Impala I named this one Whitey because my grandmother and grandfather had a pet chicken that they gathered eggs from and I'd go out with them and help them gather eggs when I was a little feller and uh, they had a chicken named Whitey and that chicken was just was just so tame and uh, would just it just I don't know it's kind of reminds me of this car just in honor of my grandparents I'm gonna I just named it Whitey um, anyway my friend is gonna color match the car again and detail the engine he's the one that detailed the engine on this 75 c10 truck uh, sky if you're not familiar with it that's a uh, papa that's sky Whitey and Shannon and I got two more trucks coming left turn bill and I'll tell you the story about it when I get the truck and uh, Billy James it's a 78 square body too so uh, if I can get my friend it's just been so hot here, but it's starting to cool off some, and he told me to holler at him uh, this fall when he has a, when it cools off a little bit. I think I'm gonna be taking this to his home and uh, to his garage, and I'm gonna let him just take his time and just maybe color match it a little and detail the engine. He done a bang up job on this truck, detailing the engine, and he's a really good guy. His name is Dale, and a big shout out to him. So I'm gonna let him uh, do all those things for me. I had the car repainted back about 85, I guess. One time, the original color is white with blue. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it like that. I've done a lot of things to the car, but then again, I haven't. I mean, I, I have, but I haven't. By that, I mean I've lowered it and I put these wheels on it, 17s and 18s. Uh, I, I, I finally back before they reproduced them they might reproduce them now I don't know but finally got me a grill guard I love grill guards I love bumper guards I love stuff like that I put on two new door mirrors the correct ones it's got the Chevy bow tie on each side I done that I got the interior redone uh, it's supposed to be blue seats but to be honest with you, I, I just couldn't afford to. It cost lots, thousands of dollars to get everything. So I traded a guy out of it, out of this interior in Florida. And I forgot what I done, traded and gave boot or whatever, but I was tickled to get this. And it goes good with the car. Not bragging, but I mean, it goes good. Got new carpet for it. Uh, got a new headliner in it. I wish I could have went back original, but trust me if you start buying parts for these cars you better have a big big wallet because it's gonna cost you lots of money and I never have had a lot of money in 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 my lifetime I mean I've always been you know hand to mouth you know week to week couldn't couldn't afford to miss a day of work because you know I owed, I owed money I got bills just like everybody else so uh, 
See, I got my bumper guards in the back. Uh, stuff that's always an option, kind of like. I put new tail lights in. I do that on everything. I put new tail lights in. It makes them kind of pop and look alive. These emblems right here are very, very expensive. Golly, you're talking lots and lots of money. But uh, I know I've said this before, but I've been kind of hesitant to put money into this car because, as I said, some a lot of times in my life, it's been, I call it hand to mouth, meaning you get it in your hand and you put it in your mouth. I mean, you know, eating and stuff. I mean, I never did have money to stash away. I've just always been, you know, hand to mouth. So I kind of, for many years I struggled and I've been married three times, which means uh, three times I've had to start all over. So it's not been much fun. But fortunately, fortunately, the Lord has blessed me with a good wife now. Praise the Lord for that. Oh my goodness. When you have to start all over a few times, it gets... It gets pretty expensive. I bought more washer and dryers and refrigerators than most normal people go through in a lifetime, I guess. But, and moving from one place to another, I had to rent for a long, long, for many years I rented a house, to, some place to live, apartment, whatever I could find. It's been a struggle, but not as bad as some people. I'm not saying I've got it bad. I'm just saying it's been tough and I didn't want to put money in this because I was always afraid of something come up, for instance, divorcing or whatever, I'd have to sell this. So I didn't want to sell it. I've had this car, like I said, since 83 or 84, something like that. And uh, it's it's my pride and joy. So I just thought, you know, I thought, well, as long as I can, as long as I got a little bit Say like I bought another old car or an old truck, which I have done. You know, if I put money into it, I, I can get it back pretty quick, which sometimes I did. But on this one, if I put money into it, it's pretty much going to stay here because I don't want to sell the car. I had somebody recently offer to buy the car, going to offer me a pretty good amount of money in my book. Maybe not to y'all, but to me it was pretty good amount of money and had cash in hand believe it or not I don't know how people do that but I guess some people do but uh I turned it down just because it's a family heirloom and like I said if you're interested in the story on this car just go back in my videos and type in 62 Impala two-door sports coupe and uh old Whitey here and uh you'll see why it's so special to me I mean I I don't know. I, I, there's something about this car just because my uncle had it and my grandparents had it, and my and my grandparents were my grandparents didn't have any money. I'm telling you, they did not have any money at all. So this was a very worn out car when they got it. Uh, I've had the motor rebuilt, and uh, I think my grandmother had to have the transmission rebuilt once. The power glide. It runs and drives great. And shame on me for not driving it more and getting it out more. But I just get started on trucks like this, like I said, and I I get involved in them and I want to get something done on them pretty quick because around here the weather changes so much. It's either raining for days and days or cold or something. And I do my best to get on something and get it done as quick as I can. But uh, this car here is really really special to me and I'm just I'm just so blessed to have it so I, I know I've talked a lot and I don't mean to I, by the way I still have the original steering wheel of this car this is my favorite steering wheel I guess a 59 Chevy Impala steering wheel I just love that steering wheel just look at it I just think they're they are so cool I love those steering wheels so i I found one almost almost kind of like the same color. It's blue, so I'll put it on here, but I still have the original steering wheel. There's a lot of things I've kind of done little subtle things to it. For instance, the glove box door, I, it's from a 61 Impala. I still have my 62. I hadn't got rid of anything, but I, I just like the 61 glove box better. 61 Chevys and 62 Chevys share the same interior, so 
I just like that glove box door better and I love this 59 Impala steering wheel. So I guess to each his own, but uh, in my lifetime, I've, I guess I've had uh, 13 or 14 62s uh, super sports and impalas but a lot of them were just like wrecked and uh you know parts cars kind of deals but i don't have them anymore my friend that I, where i had them at uh he asked me to i think he knew he was having health issues and so he told me he said i think it might be time for you to he had them in a field out by, beside his house and he told me i said i think it might be time for you to you know move your cars somewhere else or sell them whatever you want to do and he told me that twice once was enough but he told me twice two separate occasions and so i wound up selling them to another one of my friends that lives a pretty good piece from here and he he bought all of them but i wish i could have kept them had i had i lived out in the country and had a place to put them i'd still have them today i just love 62s it's one of my favorite favorite body styles i mean the way the the aluminum i call everything chrome i almost said chrome but the way the chrome is and stuff it just it looks like it's just kind of moving when it's just sitting still anyway y'all probably figure i'm a nutcase by now maybe i am i don't know but uh i just thought i'd show you my 62 chevy impala goes by the name of whitey hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up and Leave me a comment. I just, I just love this car. It's I love this car. I know I'm not going to live forever. Nobody does. But uh, that's human anyway. But uh, I hope whoever winds up with this, uh, you know, I hope they will treasure it as much as I have, cause it's it sure has meant a lot to me. I've I don't drive it in the rain. I don't drive it, you know. Well, I don't drive it very much at all. But, uh, I mean, as long as I've had it, I've never drove it in the rain. I've never drove it in the snow, nothing like that. I just always keep it inside or under a carport, wherever I was living at the time, covered up. Anyway, that's enough talking, I guess. I guess your ears are bleeding, but I hope that you will subscribe to Prime It Is Best. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best. Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best. Let me know what you think about this old car. 62 Chevy Impala, two-door sports coupe. Goes by the name of Whitey. It's really special to me. And like I said, if you want to know the whole story, I don't mean to talk your ears off, but I have a lot of videos on this car. Just go back and you can hear the story. I didn't realize it, but I have, my wife told me that I have 1,200 videos. I didn't realize I had that many, but I do. So, I mean, you can watch all of my videos. That would be great. Just leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing. Maybe you call it a binge watching. Some of them ain't so good. Some of them might be interesting to you. I don't know. Give it a shot. See what you think. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. I hope you stay safe. I hope you're not sick. Hope everything's going well with you. And uh, always pray to the Lord. And He will protect you from whatever's bothering you and ailing you. Take care. God bless you. See you later.